everybody. So uh, just in time, last minute, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do this spider web wreath. See right there. I haven't attached everything on this one because I'm actually going to be using it on the other one, but I wanted to show you how it would look. And you can just use wire to attach that. Uh, but this actually will serve two purposes. Um, you can use it as sort of a smaller wreath. This is really great if you have somebody in an apartment or living in assisted living. But you can also use it as a really cute tablescape piece, as a centerpiece. And I think it looks really cute. You lose the spider web piece, obviously, in the middle with this. Um, but it's really cute with a hurricane candle in the middle. Ta-da! So you can use it either way, and it's a really good sort of hype for this because it's not going to interfere with people talking across the table. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And I think it looks really, it's really cute and it's pretty simple and it's pretty inexpensive. So I think you're going to enjoy it. And it's something you could certainly do before Halloween even though we're getting close. So I'm going to go over what we need in terms of supplies. So you're going to need a plastic canvas and this one is 10 and a half by 13 and a half and I've already started to cut it but um, basically it's just a rectangular sheet this is the stuff that they use with floss or yarn to make boxes and all kinds of things um, and you can get this at Michaels or your local craft store and then you're going to need one of these spider webs it's on a wire frame there's no wire in the middle this is just um, like a heavy thread, but uh, there is a wire frame around it. And I got this at the 99 cent store. You can also find them at Dollar Tree. You're going to need two rolls of this black mesh, and this is a six inch by five yards. Um, and in case you get it at the Dollar Tree or somewhere else, um, I did 32 pieces, and there's uh, 10 inches. You're gonna do uh, two rolls on 16 pieces and um, you can vary the color so I did two in each bundle because you're gonna have 16 bundles and I'll show you how that works There's a, each one of these is a bundle they look like this so you're gonna do two spirals and one ruffle so these are gonna be your spirals and I did use a different mesh on this this is from Hobby Lobby the Hobby Lobby mesh is actually five and a half inches, whereas the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store is six inches. And you can see the difference, but once you get it together, it, it still looks good. Okay, so you're going to need two rolls of the five yard, six inch mesh. And then you're going to need for this same bundle, um, you're gonna need two rolls of this spider web. I think they called it spider web mesh at the Dollar Tree. Uh, but it has glitter and they have it actually in the Christmas section too, in red and silver and white. So if you don't see any over by the Halloween section, go check by whatever Christmas stuff they already have out. But it's really cool because it does sort of have this, I don't know if you can see it, but it has this sort of spider web texture to it. So it's pretty cool. So you're going to need that. And then you're going to need three rolls of this tool. Okay, so the tool is from the 99 cent store and it comes in smaller amounts and with the tool you're going to need hmm, you're gonna need 14 pieces by 10 inches. So you can do the math on that. Um, I think it's three rolls that it comes out that you need to do with this, but it, they vary. They're not always consistent on how much they actually have on the roll, so I would go ahead and get three. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your spider web and, oh, I'm sorry, you're also going to need chenille stems. So you're going to need uh, 15 black chenille stems or pipe cleaners, and you're going to cut those in half. That's going to be to attach your bundles. And you are going to need little black zip ties. You can use larger ones, but um, obviously on this black, this is going to disappear better. And I prefer the smaller ones because it's just less to cut and less to deal with. Okay. So, and then just your spiders and if you want to add a bow. So, you know, a lot of times you're going to get these spiders at the dollar store as well. I, these actually just came with orange or white and then I just used a Sharpie to color it red because I have the red mesh in there. Okay, so you're going to take this spider web. It's not going to fit perfectly, but they're flimsy enough that you can actually put them on here and just fit it to size, squish it and pull it and it'll go on there pretty well. And then you're gonna take your Sharpie and you're just gonna 
outline around the outside of your spider web for your cutting marks. And then you're gonna take two sections in from the outside that you're gonna actually leave on. And then you're just gonna, in other words, you're gonna, the plastic's gonna cover these two sections. It's a little bit less than two inches. And then I just use the Sharpie right inside that line, okay? And when it goes in really far, I go ahead and just kind of eyeball it and straighten it out. Cause you don't want it to be too thin. Go all the way around and make a circle around there where it spirals out. Go ahead and just, you know, like I said, eyeball it and keep the circle kind of consistent. And then you're gonna take your scissors and just cut these sections of the mesh off that you outline. So I obviously already started this, so you won't have to watch me cut around it. And then for the middle, you have to squish the scissors in there and get yourself a little piece. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to cover all this anyway. Okay. Maybe save that. I always see people, I need this, I'm going to throw it away. I save everything. It's terrible. I'm like a hoarder. By the way, I have some nice wine today. Did I forget? I didn't forget. This is actually a really nice Chardonnay. It's by Sterling. And you can get this stuff at Costco for like $6.99 a bottle. It's more expensive at the store. It's a good deal. Always check out Costco. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, the question. Does she do... Does she do the crafting because then she can drink the wine or does she drink the wine so that she can do the crafting? I'm not sure. Anyway, so after you cut that out, you're gonna put your spider web back on and this is where your zip ties are gonna come in. So you're gonna take your zip ties and you're just gonna go line this up. It's gonna be perfect. Again, uh, it's wire, so you're gonna be able to move it. You're gonna wanna go from the back and just make sure some of these are not you know, full so you don't want it to be open. So go in a closed square, put it through. Pretty self-explanatory, right? I'm being too, too detailed. You don't need this. Okay, so just zip tie it on and you're gonna need to do it both on the outside all the way around and on the inside. So after you go all the way around, you're gonna have to actually come back in these sections and again, from the back, you can manipulate these. They can, you know, get pulled a little bit. Don't pull them too tight. They're flimsy. You don't want to break them. But, you know, as long as you're careful, it doesn't matter if they're exactly right underneath there. You're going to be able to pull the, the string. Okay, so after you get that done, you can just, don't use your good scissors. These used to be my good scissors. Thanks, family. They're not anymore. So, just cut those off. Okay, so you're going to go all the way around this spider web and around the plastic canvas and get it all set on each of these sides. It's kind of an octagon. And then on the inside. So we're gonna pause and I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll come back after we have it all set on and I'll show you how to do the next set. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so we have the back done. So all I've done is gone ahead and gone around and put these um, zip ties all the way around and then around the inside. I actually put more on that one, but just for the sake of, of hurrying along, I did a few less. You can manipulate this to get it more true, but it's not going to really matter if it's perfect or there's a few bubbles because you're going to cover this all up with mesh. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like in the back. All this will be easier to push down where it needs to be once you get the mesh on. So the mesh, you are going to take the mesh and you are going to cut out, you're just gonna you know, measure it, cut out 10 inch lengths, and then it naturally wants to curl, let it curl the way that it wants to. Okay, and then um, if you want to, where is my hair tie, there it is. So once you curl it, you can take one of these long hair ties and just pop it in there to hold it for you. As I said, these are gonna to wanna to naturally curl anyway. So I just give them a little help to be a little bit tighter. And again, pop it right in the hair tire. Until you, it, they're not perfect, it doesn't matter. You're gonna measure out your webbing again for 10 inches. And then instead of curling it, you're gonna ruffle it. So you want it to be, you know, this is the wrong side. 
With this you can kind of tell because of the spangles, but not really. So you're gonna go right about in the middle and you're just gonna get right in close. You're gonna scrunch your fingers together and pull this in like a bow tie, okay? Like that. You're gonna take these two back off and put this right in the middle. See that? So now on your spider web, make sure that you have it about centered. See, looks pretty good. And then you're gonna take one of your chenille stems and you're gonna put one of these in each of these sections, okay? So I try to put them, I found that the best thing to do to keep them kind of equidistant around is to go more near the edge of one side rather than trying to get in the middle. It really doesn't matter if it's perfect. One thing that you do want to do is you want to put your bundle in sideways. The mesh is a little bit more stiff and it'll they'll push each other up if you go sideways. If you go this way, they're going to lay flatter. It'll cover more, but you'll need more bundles to cover the width around or the circumference. So you're going to put your chenille stem in through the back and you're going to want to go top to bottom. So in other words, excuse my mouth, nobody's going to, it's for me. So you're going this way rather than this way. So right near the top, you're gonna put each side in, and I've got it down about one square. And you can put it one or two. And you're gonna go sideways, open it up, put it in right in the middle, and then just give it a couple of good twists. Okay, now you can see how it looks pretty flat but when you add the other ones in, they're gonna prop each other up. So here I have one that I've already put together. And these things stick to each other like nobody's business. Don't even worry about it. Okay, so this one I've, I've added this Hobby Lobby mesh, which is five and a half inches. Um, I did so on the other one as well, believe it or not. Once they're together, you really can't tell. So again, we're gonna go in about one or two squares down all the way over next to the, the next furthest over um, string, okay? And then just put your chenille stem in, pull it up, and then make sure you have this about in the middle. Just fold it up and make sure they kind of meet. And then this is gonna get really raggedy and pull on itself, and again, it doesn't matter, it's a spider web, so looking raggedy's part of the deal, right? So nice and tight, put it in, and you see as they hit each other, they'll knock each other up and kind of give each other some, some space. All right, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna put this all in, and then I'm gonna come back in a minute and show you what that portion looks like when it's all in. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so I've gone all the way around with the outside bundles of three, which were two spirals and one ruffle. And now I've come in the middle and I'm doing the ruffle out of the 10 inch um, tool. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do this in the stunt double. So you did the first row of the three bundles. On the outside, the, the ruffle you're gonna do right here. So you're gonna go right to the end on the inside and it, you're gonna put it the same way as the last time, top to bottom, so to speak, or inside to outside, not side to side, because you want the ruffles to lay this way. And with this tool, what you're gonna do is you're not gonna do it this way, and you're gonna do it this way. So you're gonna gather it, just squinch it between your fingers. Squinch is a technical word, make sure you use it. <laughs> and then just bring it together, make sure it's about in the middle. And you're gonna pop it right in between the two sides of the chenille stem and give it a good couple of twists. Okay, so I'm gonna actually pop it in here. This is the last one. You know, just manipulate things out of the way. And the reason that you want them 10 inches, even though they're gonna be little shorties like that, is because it gives you the fullness to cover up all the plastic. And trust me, when you first do this, you're gonna get this on, and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's not covering it. But once you get this middle piece in, it covers it really well. This is very lightweight, so you can just put a little piece of wire to hang this or a piece of ribbon. You can put a bow, you can see on this one I put a silver bow, I just made this out of, I got this at Costco. Um, it's actually in the Christmas ribbon section, but I thought it, again, had that sort of spider webby look. Um, on this one, you could also add skulls and stuff. It kind of has that piratey look. But because of the red, that's why I went ahead and did the spiders that way. 
So you just put the spiders wherever you want. You can use a little hot glue or a little wire. Wire would be better if you have any heat or humidity around you. And then I also found these at the Dollar, the dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my teeth, don't look. <laughs> um, you could certainly wire these in. Super cute. You'd wanna put them somewhere where they're gonna show. Isn't that cute? So uh, real easy to do. I hope you like it. Very cheap, most of the stuff from the dollar store. So let me know if you like it and um, put as many spiders all over the sky as you want and uh, it'll be a great thing on your tabletop or on your door. All right guys, happy Halloween. Hope you have a good time. Bye-bye.